my guide to buying the finest shellfish. Whether it's scallops, prawns, crabs or lobster, spanking fresh shellfish never fails to make an impression. And when you want the best crustaceans, it pays to ask an expert. 19 pound, it's a bargain at 20 pound. Fishmonger Roger Barton really knows his shellfish inside out. Hello, what well, is that? He said, can he go back home? So I'm sorry, bruv, you're with me. He's been in the fish game at London's Billingsgate Market for over 35 years. Glean some of his knowledge, and you'll never be at a loss when it comes to shopping for shellfish. Right, what we've got here are crevettes. Some people know them as prawns. And these are a picture. They've got to be lovely and shiny. You'll find, if they're too limp, the head starts coming away from the body. Not a good sign. Looks a bit like me. Worse for the wear. Chop your old garlic up. Get the old wok. Lovely. Bit of olive oil. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Lovely, lovely jubbly. In they go. Psst. Absolutely fantastic. And if you like prawns as much as me, then you'll love all these different kinds. Here are my favourites. Brown shrimps. Might be tiny, but punch well above their weight in terms of taste. I love them potted in spice butter and spread on toast. Atlantic prawns are great value and packed with flavour. Fantastic as tapas or in curries. Small tiger prawns are also good value and great for Asian salads, stir fries and fish stews. Whereas these massive ones are so spectacular, I just keep them simple. Marinated in garlic, oil and chilli, char grilled and served in their shells. And longestines are one of my favourites. You can buy these succulent beauties whole, just roast or boil and serve with garlic mayonnaise. People used to eat winkles, cockles. They're not doing it anymore. It's such a shame. They should be more dairy. All due respect, you wouldn't make love the same way for the rest of your life. Winkles, there they are. Lovely. They smell of the sea. A little bit of pepper and salt and a dash of vinegar with them. That does enhance the flavour. In this country, we have got the finest oysters in the world. I die for these. The only thing you have to look for with an oyster is that it's tightly closed. If it's open, avoid it. Be adventurous. Come on, try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Get the right recipe and the freshest shellfish and you're guaranteed success in the kitchen. Whether it's in one of my restaurants or back at home, I know that as well as delicious food, one of the fundamentals to making guests happy is creating a great atmosphere. Vietnamese-style fresh prawn rolls. One of the keys to cooking for crowds is creating the atmosphere and that buzz. Getting your guests to sort of almost get involved and dip in and dip out. This is an exciting, fragrant wrap that is so easy to do. First off, soak the noodles. These are thin glass noodles. Basically, bring the kettle up to the boil and just pour. Just let them steep there for a couple of minutes. The noodles are for my prawn rolls. As they soak, I'm going to make a spicy dipping sauce to go with them. Start off with sugar. We're trying to create that sweet, sour, salty, but a really nice sort of heated sauce as well. Rice wine vinegar. That will dissolve the sugar. Fish sauce. Now, that's going to give it its saltiness. Next, the chilli. I want the seeds left in, because I want some power. Chilli in. A little bit of garlic. Don't need to chop it too finely. Just slice it. Take a spring onion. Just top and tail them. Slice. Slice the spring onion nice and thinly, so it sort of almost permeates that dipping sauce. I grew up with the love of spring rolls, but on the back of my visit to Vietnam, it sort of transformed my respect for a spring roll. Give that a little mix. A little bit of coriander and fresh mint. Roll them up and chop. Herbs in. There's no olive oil in there. There's no cream, there's no butter. It's just a really nice, light dipping sauce. And wow, got all those senses going on. Now, we're going to make the filling for the wraps. A really nice, fresh noodle salad. Rinse the noodles in cold water, then chop them into bite-sized lengths. Prawns, peeled and cooked. Slice them up. The prawns give a really nice sweetness. Next, the vegetables. I want crunch, freshness, texture, baby gem lettuce. I just shred that lettuce. 
Next, spring onion. The good news about these wraps is that you can make them up in advance, sit them in the fridge and then take them out, literally seconds before your guests arrive. Peel the carrot. So you've got a really nice, fresh, crunchy carrot. Now, fresh mint, fresh basil and fresh coriander. Together, it sounds a little bit bizarre, but it tastes amazing. Don't hold back with the herbs. They'll really help make the filling vibrant, fresh and aromatic. Finally, a touch of lime. Just squeeze that fresh lime juice over there. A couple of tablespoons of your dipping sauce. Don't put too much in there. It just makes all the filling too wet. Just give that a really good mix. That's a very quick, simple salad to eat now, but let's get it into a wrap. Now, take your rice paper wrap, literally 30 seconds, in warm water. You can get rice paper wraps from your local Asian supermarket or buy them online. Gently lift it out of the water. There, ah, beautiful. Lay it carefully onto your board. Place the mixture at the bottom. Don't overfill it, because it'll be a nightmare to roll. Fold them over first, nice and tightly, halfway. Then tuck in the ends. And make sure nothing's coming out the sides. Beautiful. They're so light, fragrant, incredibly simple to do. And there you go. A very delicious, fragrant Asian wrap. Certainly different to the Chinese spring rolls I grew up with. To prep it, get the head and twist. Keep hold of those heads, make the most amazing stock. And then with your thumb, get underneath the shell and just peel off that beautiful little layer. Now, with your thumb and your finger, push and shake and look, the whole tail comes off. You don't have to peel the whole thing. From there, get your knife and just gently cut the surface of the prawn. And what we're looking for there is that little dirt sack. That's got to come out, otherwise, if you cook the prawn with that sack in there, it's crunchy, it's not very nice, and it ruins that sweet flavour. And there you go, the most amazing prawn ready for cooking.